Hello everyone, my name is Huda and for International Read Aloud Day, I'm going to read my short story, Chamomile Flower. The sky is brilliantly orange and the white noises of the road gradually fades to the blue. The earth seems to orbit quicker as the pink sun melts at the horizon. The red pages of the short story by Elizabeth Hay spiral around my missile mind making paper cuts. I hope for the words to flood out of the wounds. Like a rocky mountain, I progress and stop as I translate the English words with the certain word choice. I compete with my head to keep it still and in rhythm with my writing hand as I tackle to capture the effect of her words. I rush along and drown in my own words of the endangered Irish language. I find the Irish language more exotic, dramatic, and sharp to string sting the word bubble of English. This drags me into a deeper connection with my friend, Hay, as though I knew her. However, we had a nuance as we spoke. The gloomy grey clouds hover over me as they stroll the foggy sky. The contrast of last night's atmosphere to the busy and rigid road of today strike my heavy eyes. The caffeine triggers my ringing ears, and the drum in my chest is banging. My friend Hay appears after she had heard of the translation results. Something beastly stabbed suddenly into the silence. Hay commands, It's not about you, it's about the script. The story, think of that. It became clear to me I am a skillful dog, which people are deaf to my speech, nor ones of my own kind. My peers nod at my art and praise it. As I nod back, the paper cuts expand, painting my canvas head red. In a state of melancholy and frustration, I expose my excellent ambition of achievement that was veiled by the underappreciation. I did not make up the words, I advanced them. The Irish language of mine creates a sub-story within others' stories. It is like leaving a footprint on a shandy shore, which may fade by the wind or get lost in another's eyes. I don't feel the captivating pressure anymore, and I long to produce writing. Hay has wrongly failed me, my own ambition has failed me, my work is being redistributed. I can't pay my bills. My co-workers are worried about me and have visited me once. They have brought to my notice a strange odor in my home. Their faces crunch and caution me of leaving plastic near a running oven. I don't smell it, but I sense the presence of dryness and stillness in the air. However, I thought that was a rude remark by the guests to pick out on a flaw of my home on a first visit. I picked up the resting coffee cups that has now created a thin film floating on the surface. Once they have left, the roof shivered. Their energy knocks back on my wooden door, which led my hand on the bruised red pages. It wrote ordinary things like, as I sip from the mug, my eyes trace the racing drip down along the side, and I quickly battle to lick it before it falls. The pages turn dimmer as I long for receiving the reward and notice after submitting my writing. It feels almost purposeless, and I feel the desire to crawl out of my rotting shell, to strive for a consistent living. My panting mind continues to count from a thousand in descending order, while skipping eight counts. In defeat, it finally stops and whispers to the quiet walls, Time to sack. I think it means I'm tired. I feel that I am being deceived by my own yellow mind. I am not tired, since I haven't been doing as much work as I have when I pursued the translating career. I wake up focusing on the hindsight of the space between the tiles of the roof and see chamomile flowers magically tweaking through. The chamomiles are blooming down the stream of sparkles flowing through the cracks 
and it sprinkles down across the carpeted floor. Lightly, it taps on the roots of my hair and bejeweling my head. Shivers run down to my toes. I inhale its unfamiliar, beautiful fragrance and enchants my lungs with a sense of tranquility. I gasp as I forget to exhale, trying not to miss out on the mesmerizing feeling. In a universe filled with answers, what is my question? Is this one of the universe's tests? In battle with my hand, my mind, and my world, I write what foreign words can't express. The people of my world must be determined to learn Irish because I won't put any translations. You can't translate the language of your heart like you can't read the sound that a stethoscope makes by your heartbeat. Like a crab molting, I lose my shell and grow a new skin that will strengthen to a new, powerful, enduring shell. A world full of daisies where the breeze bends the flowers and you to the same direction. The yellow stamen of the daisy signifies its beginnings and grows its pure white petals to bloom into a beautiful thing. Some choose to ride roller coasters in excitement or fear, derived from inner feelings of uncertainty and risk. Those who choose excitement finish the alluring ride with achievement and possible will to ride again, despite the ups and downs. On the other hand, those who choose fear, they miss out on the ride and the prize it withholds, their dream goal. In my world, I am excited to unfold the risks upcoming in my career and how it will beautifully mold my future until the blooming of a new flower. Thank you.